Welcome, I'm Sonia and we're in the Giallo Zaffarano kitchen to create a classic Italian pasta dish, spaghetti bolognese. Let's see what ingredients we'll need. Three and a half ounces of smoky bacon, half a pound of ground beef, half a pound of ground pork, one onion, a stalk of celery, and one carrot, two tablespoons of tomato paste, three tablespoons of olive oil, three and a half tablespoons of butter, one glass of whole milk, one glass of red wine, and a cup of beef stock, and some pepper and salt. Spaghetti, three and a half ounces for each serving. That's it, let's take a look how to make it. The first thing to do for the bolognese is to mince the onion, the carrot, and the celery. In a large pot, add the olive oil and the butter, and to that add the vegetable mixture. Saute it until soft, and until just before it goes golden. In the meantime, cut the bacon into small pieces. Now that the vegetables are cooked, you can add the minced bacon. And after that's got some color, you can add the ground beef and the pork. Of course, the meats with the vegetables must be browned very well, and you have to be very patient with this process. Although this is a simple recipe, the preparation takes time, and in total, the sauce will be cooked for at least two hours on a very low heat. As you can see, the meat is well cooked. Now, you can add the glass of red wine, and cook it until the wine is completely absorbed. When the wine is cooked out and the meat is getting a bit dry, you can add the tomato paste and you can thin this out with a bit of the beef stock. Stir it together. Add some salt and lower the heat. And now the ragu must simmer. Continue cooking it on a very low heat for about an hour and a half and add the broth little by little as you cook to keep the meat moist. The original recipe, which follows the old Bolognese tradition and was presented to the Bologna Chamber of Commerce in 1982, states that as the ragu finishes, you need to add a cup of milk or even cream to the sauce. But if you don't like this, you can leave it out. Alright, so add the milk and leave it on the heat to absorb completely. And then we can season it and then we'll finally finish our ragu bolognese. While our ragu is settling, put a large pot of water seasoned with sea salt on to boil. And when it's come to the boil, add the spaghetti. The pasta is cooked al dente. We can drain the pasta and add it directly to the bolognese. Siamo pronti. Here we are. Okay, mix it well. And our spaghetti bolognese is ready to be served. Our spaghetti bolognese is ready. If you'd like to give the genuine finishing touch, sprinkle it with a bit of Parmigiano Reggiano. Buon appetito from Sonia and Giala Zaffarano, and we'll see you in the next video recipe.